Biofeedback Meditation, the high-tech way to no anxiety per day. What is biofeedback meditation and how does it help with anxiety? In this video, I'll show you the high-tech way to improve your meditation practice and relieve anxiety faster and more effectively. By the way, this is lesson six of the free Meditation for Anxiety course, the series where we discuss the meditation techniques best suited for relieving anxiety. So without further ado, let's get started. Have you ever meditated and thought, am I doing this right? Am I actually being mindful? I think we all have at some point, and biofeedback meditation really helps to answer this question. Put simply, biofeedback gives you a way to know if you're doing it right. Biofeedback shows you in real time what's going on inside your body. There are times when we meditate and we think we're calm and relaxed and focused, but in reality, you're just a little less tense than normal, and you're not actually being mindful. But with biofeedback, the software will tell you when you're actually relaxed. So if it says you're stressed, you can make adjustments until it tells you you're doing it correctly. There are two major categories of biofeedback. There's neural feedback and heart rate variability. Most of my biofeedback experience is with heart rate variability, but I'll give you an overview of both methods. We'll start with the brainwave feedback. It's also known as neurofeedback. As you probably know, the neurons in your brain communicate via electric signals. These electric signals can be measured with a device called an EEG. It stands for an electroencephalogram. And these electric signals produced by the brain are called brain waves. And there's four major categories of brain waves. The brain waves are measured by the frequency they produce, which is how many times it spikes up and down per second. The more active the mind, the higher the frequency. So towards the top, um, you see gamma, which is spiking up and down really fast. This is like anxiety or an overactive mind. It could also just be like problem solving or general thinking, but for the purpose of meditation, these higher frequencies are a little too active. On the other end of the spectrum, there's delta brain waves. This is associated with deep, dreamless sleep. This is your body in full recovery mode. For meditation, you want to stay in the alpha range. Alpha brain waves are shown to result in a feeling of relaxed focus, improved learning abilities, and increased serotonin production. The goal of neurofeedback is to produce alpha brain waves. This is that relaxed, meditative state that we're all looking for. So if you were doing neurofeedback, you would try to relax your mind and body until you produce alpha brain waves. And once you're there, you want to try to remember what it feels like. Because if you can remember what it feels like, you'll be able to get there again without using the equipment. Neurofeedback is really cool, but the downside is it's really expensive to get started if you want to use it at home. The equipment plus the software will cost you around $5,000. You need an EEG headset, an amplifier, and some software that can read the brainwaves back to you in real time. There is one more affordable option called Muse, but I, I personally haven't tried it yet. It's a simpler EEG headset that works with your smartphone. If you want me to order a Muse and try it out and do like a full review, leave a comment down below, and if you're interested, I'll save up the money and get one for myself. So that's the first category of biofeedback, which is neurofeedback, aka measuring brain waves with an EEG device. The second category I have a lot more experience with, and I do it almost every day, is called heart rate variability. Heart rate variability, or HRV, is basically the rhythm of your heartbeat. Your heart rate is constantly speeding up and slowing down every second. And we can learn to control this rhythm with our thoughts and our breathing. When you're anxious, your HRV, or your heart rate variability, looks kind of like this red graph on the left. It's unpredictable, and you never know if it's going to go up or go down. One second is at 70 beats per minute, Next, it's at 95, then down to 55. And the graph has all these sharp points that indicate 
uh, what's called like a sympathetic bias, which is just your body's kind of in fight or flight mode. But when you're clear headed, your HRV looks more like this blue graph on the right. It's smooth and rhythmic, no sharp points. They call this cardiac coherence, or just coherence for short. And with biofeedback, it's really easy to get your HRV to change from the sharp and pointy graph to the smooth and rhythmic. To do HRV biofeedback, you only need two things. Number one is an HRV monitor that clips to your earlobe. It's just a really precise heart rate monitor that can measure how your heart rate changes from second to second. The second thing is a smartphone app that can measure coherence. I've tried a lot of these, I think 12 total, and the one that I use right now is called the HeartMath Inner Balance. That's the one you see on the screen here. It has an awesome display that shows you what your heart rate looks like over time, and it even shows you how coherent your heart rhythm is on a scale of 1 to 10. You can see that in the top left. I've been using this every day for the past 4 to 5 months, and it's been life-changing. I can manage my emotions so much better than before I had it. I'll put a link to it down below. Um, but, but really the power was I developed a breathing exercise that lets me get into coherence whenever I want. And that's why I wrote my new book. It's called Breathing Secrets. It'll teach you the six secrets to conquer anxiety with breathing exercises. And spoiler alert, secret number six is biofeedback. So if you're trying to overcome anxiety and better manage your emotions, this is the perfect book for you. And just for watching this video, I'll give it to you for free. You can download it at my website, breathingsecretsbook.com. Go ahead and download the ebook right now while you have the time. I promise the information in there is way more helpful than anything else you'll find on YouTube. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe and click the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.